Lesson 267 My heart is beating in the peace of God. Hi there. Shall we take another step towards truly living in love and oneness today? And how about becoming a beacon of healing for the world around us? Let's explore what Lesson 267 has in store for us. My heart is beating in the peace of God. Surrounding me is all the life that God created in His love. It calls to me in every heartbeat and in every breath, in every action and in every thought. Peace fills my heart and floods my body with the purpose of forgiveness. Now my mind is healed and all I need to save the world is given me. Each heartbeat brings me peace, each breath infuses me with strength. I am a messenger of God directed by His voice, sustained by Him in love, and held forever quiet and at peace within His loving arms. Each heartbeat calls His name, and every one is answered by His voice, assuring me I am at home in Him. Let me attend your answer, not my own. Father, my heart is beating in the peace the heart of love created. It is there and only there that I can be at home. In other words, Let's reconnect with the concepts we've explored throughout our lessons. It feels as though we're living in two worlds. One is the world that we perceive with our physical senses, rooted in the projections of our ego. In this world, perception deceives us, separation dominates, love seems absent, and fear fills the void. Then, we have the world that the Holy Spirit reveals to us, a realm where the illusion of separation dissolves taking with it all other illusions that stem from it. Here, we come together in unity with all our brothers and with God. Time gives way to timelessness, and space dissolves into the infinite embrace of love and oneness. But never forget, in any given moment, we can only perceive one world at a time. Lesson 130 It is impossible to see two worlds. When we align with the vision of the Holy Spirit, even the world of illusions we perceive with our physical eyes begins to transform. Beyond mere appearances and the illusion of separation, the external world actively mirrors what we hold inside us. And remember the powerful lesson from yesterday, our holy, true self isn't just within us, it's within everyone. This essence is the only Son of God Himself. We live in a holographic universe. Lesson 266 My holy self abides in you, God's Son. So, when we repeat the words my heart is beating in the peace of God, this is exactly what we are doing. We align with the vision of the Holy Spirit, allowing it to inspire our thoughts and guide our actions. We adopt a mindset of love and forgiveness in our daily activities, healing not just our minds but also becoming a beacon of healing for those around us. In doing so, we become agents of global healing, we save the world, we are messengers of God, attuned to His voice and sustained by His love. Lesson 154 I am among the ministers of God. Of course, we can always hear the world's news, feel disheartened by wars, disasters, and the widespread insanities of our fellow brothers. We are not required to turn a blind eye to the suffering of those around us, but we can extend to them the compassion we'd wish for ourselves when our perceptions were clouding our vision. Lesson 28 Above all else I want to see things differently. Within our minds, in the spiritual realm of our innermost reality, we always have a choice. Every holy instant of our life calls for this decision. We can heed the voice of our ego, filled with fears, anxieties, and thoughts of anger that foster separation and illusion. Or we can hear the voice of God, and be in love and oneness, and be at peace, at home. And as we make this inner shift, the world around us will change accordingly. My heart is beating in the peace of God. My heart is beating in the peace of God. My heart is beating in the peace of God. Isn't that just wonderful? 
Are you feeling more and more inspired to live your life according to these spiritual principles? In love, in oneness, at peace, at home. And as a messenger of God and a beacon of healing to those around you. Remember to practice morning and evening. Also, pause for a moment every hour to remind yourself of today's powerful idea. And if you ever feel tempted to revert to your usual mindset, simply repeat to yourself. My heart is beating in the peace of God. And as we are diving deep into the section What is the Body, today's lesson reminds us that the body is not a barrier but a vessel through which we can experience God's peace and love. When we choose to see beyond the body's limitations, we recognize that each heartbeat and breath is a call to remember our unity with God. Surrounded by His love, we become messengers of peace and forgiveness, guided by His voice and sustained by His strength. In this awareness, the body no longer symbolizes separation, but instead reflects our true home in the peace and love of God. But if you missed the introduction to this section, make sure to catch up by clicking the link that will appear on your screen at the end of this video. Or look for the link to section 5 in the video description below. My heart is beating in the peace of God. My heart is beating in the peace of God. My heart is beating in the peace of God. You're doing an outstanding job. We're really changing the world. See you tomorrow for another enlightening lesson. Quick note before you go. Making these videos is a labor of love, but it's still financially challenging. If you've found value in what you've watched, please consider supporting with a donation. Even the humblest contribution means the world and ensures the continuation of these daily lessons. Thank you for your generosity. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.